Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, the Daily Lessons. And today we are on the end of this module, Lesson 330. I will not hurt myself again today. Let us this day accept forgiveness as our only function. Why should we attack our minds and give them images of pain? Why should we teach them they are powerless when God holds out his power and his love and bids them take what is already theirs? The mind that is made willing to accept God's gift has been restored to spirit and extends its freedom and its joy, as is the will of God united with its own. The self which God created cannot sin and therefore cannot suffer. Let us choose today that he be our identity and thus escape forever from all things the dream of fear appears to offer us. Father, your son cannot be hurt, and if we think we suffer, we but fail to know our one identity we share with you. We would return to it today to be made free forever from all our mistakes and to be saved from what we thought we were. I'll read it again. I will not hurt myself again today. Let us this day accept forgiveness as our only function. Why should we attack our minds and give them images of pain? Why should we teach them they are powerless when God holds out his power and his love and bids them take what is already theirs? The mind that is made willing to accept God's gifts has been restored to spirit and it extends its freedom and its joy, as is the will of God united with its own. The self which God created cannot sin and therefore cannot suffer. Let us choose today that he be our identity and thus escape from ever from all things the dream of fear appears to offer us. Father, your son, your child, your children, cannot be hurt. And if we think we suffer, we but fail to know our one identity we share with you. We would return to it today to be made free forever from all our mistakes and to be saved from what we thought we were. This is a great lesson. Uh, oh Lord, to be saved from what we thought we were. So what did we think we were? Most of us think that we are humans in form that die after a certain period. And that is certainly not the truth. And, and I believe that this lesson is talking about when it says, I will not hurt myself again today, it's not necessarily speaking even in the physical sense, but in the, less, in the, in the tangible sense of hurting oneself with misperceptions, with confusion, with unknowingness, right? So, we can forgive ourselves that we didn't know until today or on whatever day that it finally comes to you. Why should we attack our minds and give them images of pain? Why would we teach them they are powerless when God holds out his power and his love and bids them take what is already theirs? We are each God in form. And so our creativity is unlimited. Yet at this point, we really don't know how to use it or how to be creative. I don't mean as an artist. I mean as a creator. Like we are 
each of us God in form. And so it, it ties back to all of these things that, that are changing in our world right now. One of the things that's changing is uh, the economy, our economics, how we get things, right? All of this is changing because of COVID and the fallout from, from what's happened. But the bigger fallout is the awakening. The bigger realization here is, is the grand awakening that these events that we've been living through are helping us to achieve. And so we cannot be hurt because our bodies are simply the housing. Yes, our physical forms can be in pain. That's true. Our physical bodies can be hurt. That's true. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the essence of who we each are. And those, those essences can never be hurt because they're divinity. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. If you need additional support, please feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Uh, texting is best. You can message me through Facebook or SoundCloud or YouTube or through my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. This is the end of uh, this focus uh, group of lessons, and tomorrow we will start on the next group of lessons. Namaste and much love.